looks like Sheridan will fancy this one. Again on the left foot, stunning strike by Killian Sheridan. And Kilmarnock are ahead at Tannadice after just 10 minutes. Perfect placement. Now here goes Harkins, break on here for Kilmarnock. And Sheridan into the unguarded net. Killian Sheridan makes it 2 0. It was great strength from Gary Harkins, and he just picked his moment to play the perfectly weighted pass. But now Mackay Stephen just after half time, stunning shot. Brilliant goal from Gary Mackay Stephen. There didn't look like too much on here. But Mackay Stephen turned and hit it on the, the right Steven. foot, his third in his last four games. Perez fired into the middle. Back in it comes. Heffernan's there, he's all alone. And headed over the goalkeeper. And Heffernan restores the two goal lead for Kilmarnock just five minutes after Dundee United got one back. Barry Douglas now to Mackay Stephen. Oh, he's done well there. Good skill to return the ball. And there's Daly. He stoops to get Dundee United back to within a goal of Kilmarnock. Yes, came on again, number nine, John Daly. It's 3 2 now. An incredible game here at Tannadice. Back it comes to Douglas. Not long left now. We are into injury time. It's Douglas with the ball in, gunning, Daly! They're level! What a game at Tannadice! John Daly, the hero, and United have rescued a point in injury time. Celtic are unbeaten in their last 14 against Aberdeen. It's a fixture that they have had plenty of joy in recent years, Mulgrew spreads the play out wide. Now here's Effie Ambrose. Victor Wanyama just ups a gear, changes the pace, hits the shot off the post, and it falls for Lassad, who puts Celtic in front at Pataudry. He's only been on the park for four minutes, but Lassad has the opening goal, it was Victor Wanyama's rifled shot which caused all the damage. That took Jimmy Langfield out of the equation and Lassad was on the penalty spot for the most simple of finishes for his first goal in Celtic colours. Yeah. Vernon can't control and Mulgrew is now operating in midfield. Gets it out to the Greek, Georgios Samaras. Now onto the right foot. It's going to drop here for Charlie Mulgrew. That's two. The second comes in the space of four minutes. And Celtic have a two-goal lead. It's Charlie Mulgrew against his former club. Well, he played for two seasons with Aberdeen made just over 80 appearances for the club and he's come back to haunt his former employers. Charlie Mulgrew with his fourth goal of the season and what an important one as Celtic look to go back to the top of the SPL. Samaras's ball in, took a touch off Anderson but there was Mulgrew leaning backwards and in off the surface into the back of the net. Vigers can't win it. Mackay keeps Johnson in possession. Miller header forward. Mackay challenges. Now it comes to the right back, cuts in. And now on the left foot and finds the near post. And St Johnson are ahead. After 51 minutes, a goal reminiscent of his strike at Celtic Park a year ago. Britain 
takes it quickly and Vigers is away here. Vigers is deflected and Ross County are level. 20 minutes left to play. Vigers celebrates, but I think this one has to go down as an own goal. He was surely looking for a teammate there. It's going to be a layoff for Danny Granger. It took a touch on its way through. But once again, Danny Granger's left boot sparks celebration inside Tynecastle. It just clipped Kenny McLean on its way through. But Danny Granger has his third goal of the season. Now it's Benedictus. He's going to have a go here. Oh, what a stunning goal by Kyle Benedictus. His first in senior football. And what a way to do it. There didn't even look anything on here. He's going away from goal, swivels and hits it and finds the top corner. And that's a good ball in for Gallagher. And there's Milne at the back post. Did it cross the line? The officials say yes, and the goal is given. And Dundee, two minutes into the second half, are two up through Stephen Milne. And it will be Kevin McBride, the former Hibs player, hammers it straight down the middle. He hasn't scored a goal for five years, but that is one that puts Dundee bottom of the table. Dundee have picked up four points in the last two games. And they're bound to hang on for three here, although Lee Griffiths has got one back. Caps off what has been a good week for him after making his Scotland debut, and he's got a consolation goal. Well, Inverness continue their form. They can go into third in the table today. Here's Nicky Lott, just delays the cross, and Higdon attacks it! And it's Motherwell who lead in the Highlands. Michael Higdon with his ninth goal of the season. And it was Nicky Law with the setup, just dummied the cross and hung it up at the back post. And Higdon got a run on David Raven, and there was only ever going to be one outcome after that. Humphrey now, oh he's done well to get past Shinny, can he get the ball in? Only as far as Murphy, it's two! Two in quick succession for Motherwell, Jamie Murphy with his fifth of the season. But look at the work done there by Chris Humphrey. Meekings couldn't clear fully, and when it dropped to Jamie Murphy, he finished emphatically into the corner. response to their half-time team talk. Well, Ravens found Foran, and they've got one back just 60 seconds into the second half. The response is immediate from Inverness, and it's Richie Foran, the captain, who's got the goal. A very smart finish indeed. Good punch there by Reguero, got good distance, but he's just going to come back at Inverness from Haightley, and now Cummings at the back post. It's 3-1, the two-goal lead is restored. Adam Cummings with his first goal in senior football. Haightley's cross, it took a touch off Owen Tudor-Jones, and it found Cummings, the centre-back, at the back post, and he finished it like a centre-forward. Back from Murphy, Nicky Law again. Henrik Oyama, that's four. And the points are safe for Motherwell now. Inverness's 10-game unbeaten run is going to come to an end here against Stuart McCall's side. Henrik Oyama with his first goal of the season. Murphy, that's the shot retrieve the ball, although it comes to Omar Daly. He has a shot and it's in! A shocker from Antonio Reguero. 
He really should have done better there. But Inverness have conceded a fifth goal. It is now their worst ever home defeat in the SPL. Inverness 1, Motherwell 5.